today's video is odd. Bittersweet, we'll call it, because it involves a corrupt, power-abusing politician doing something useful in favor of the Second Amendment and liberty and freedom in general? No way! Yes way! Yeah, it's got me stumped too. Keep watching for your daily dose of political confusion. Hey Liberty fam, and welcome back to the channel! Today's video is sponsored by Eurooptic.com, your hot spot for scopes, rangefinders, binoculars, and other gear. Their inventory is real-time, they're veteran-owned and operated right in Pennsylvania, and all their staff are local hunters and outdoorsmen that use the products themselves. To check them out and their snazzy one- and two-day shipping, go to Eurooptic.com. So, y'all might remember a Florida politician named Nikki Freed. I reported on her a few weeks ago as she's the state's agriculture commissioner, in charge of the state's gun licensing, and used confidential gun owner information to score brownie points with voters while she runs against DeSantis for governor. One of the points that I made in that video is that Freed has both a Florida concealed carry license and a medical marijuana card. Medicinal pot is legal in Florida, but of course is still illegal on the federal level, which should technically make her a prohibited person by letter of the law. Though technically we all know the political ruling class exists outside of their own rules. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Anyway, if you've bought a gun ever, you know that Form 4473 asks the buyer if they use illegal drugs. Again, sure, it's legal in Florida, but not federally, and the form explains this. It literally says, warning, the use or possession of marijuana remains unlawful under federal law regardless of whether it has been legalized or decriminalized for medicinal or recreational purposes in the state where you reside. It's pretty clear cut. Saying yes, you use drugs means no sale. If Freed has been saying no, then she'd be lying, which is a federal crime punishable by up to five years in prison. Which is apparently neither here nor there because no one has done anything about it. Well, you can't fight City Hall. All of this puts Freed in a unique position because she's a gun owner, has a pot card, and heads the office that both regulates Florida gun licenses and some aspects of medicinal marijuana. It would be pretty cool and libertarian of her if she wasn't so slimy. But now, in what honestly is some truly spectacular political marketing, she revealed on 420 that she's suing both the Biden administration and the ATF to block the federal rule against medicinal pot users from buying guns or keeping permits. Like, I don't smoke, but I kind of want to cheer, but also really, really don't like her at the same time. It's kind of like that one time AOC was right for about three seconds that, honestly, I don't even remember what it was she said, just that it made me really, really uncomfortable to agree with her on something, and it was gross. Awkward! NBC obtained a copy of the lawsuit and reports that it is targeting the Form 4473 directly and argues that the form violates the Second Amendment rights of lawful medical patients and violates a congressional budget prohibition on federal agents interfering with state-sanctioned cannabis laws. And she's entirely right, even though it's probably nothing more than a political opportunity, as she's the only elected Democrat in a state that legalized medical marijuana with 71% of voters. Polls show that most Floridians also favor legalizing recreational use, and I'm sure she knows that. Meanwhile, her campaign has been floundering, with her primary opponent getting an endorsement from Nancy Pelosi. So why not boost her chances with a pot lawsuit? I doubt that it's truly a Second Amendment issue for her, as her handling of the state's licensing program has been plagued with lawsuits and problems beyond the ones I covered earlier. 
She's also, for example, been involved in a lawsuit to overturn the state's preemption statute, which is the basis for all of their pro-gun laws. She said the statute is nothing more than a way for Republicans to punish their government with unconstitutional fines and removal from office, which, wow. It's also really rare for a Democrat to sue a Democratic administration, but she says the issue can no longer wait just because of the sheer volume of complaints she's gotten. The lawsuit was filed on the behalf of three citizens who she says have been directly affected by the federal rules. It names the acting head of the ATF, which I guess Biden is making step down? the Biden administration and Attorney General Merrick Garland as defendants. The ATF told NBC that they can't speculate or discuss on any pending litigation, but placed the blame solely on federal lawmakers for not changing the Controlled Substances Act and the Gun Control Act. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and share if you did, or even if you didn't because your hate still fuels the algorithms. You can also check out other support options in the description like Patreon, Subscribestar, or the tip jar that helps keep this channel running. As always, thanks for tuning in, stay safe, and happy shooting.